So this is another part to how to build a node. Hello, this is Lee, WREX300. So, just got this in the mail today. This is the Cyba SYBA sound card made by C Media. It's the model CM119. And this is what we're going to use to convert our Bofan 888 into a node simplex. Uh, I already showed you how to wire up the radio. Now I'm going to show you how to do the sound card. Okay, so in order to open one of these without cutting it or actually busting it all to pieces or cutting your hand trying to slide it open, I use some kind of hammer and a hard surface and I tap the sides a lot harder than this by the way. Almost to the point I feel like it's going to break. Anyway, you tap it hard enough and it'll crack this glues all the way around this loose. So, you know, you can take a little screwdriver, you got a little nail or something. I got a little fingernail. And you can just pop it open. Now, I already popped this open, so it's a little bit easier than it normally would be. But anyway, this is what we're after. Genuine sound card. It's got the uh, C. What is that? The C108 chip installed into it, and it is the CM119 from the C Media. Cyba S Y B A. Okay, so this is what I do. I put a little mark on. I got a little paint pencil. I'll put a little arrow. This one's pointing inward. That's the input. This one's pointing out. That's the output. So, you know, that way when you get it apart, the grain's going to be out, pink's going to be in. In order to get these apart, either you can take a little pair of needle nose and clip these, and then take them apart, or um, if you're good at it, you can take a little solder, put a little heat to it, and it'll pop right loose. But you can tin them first. Take a little bit of solder with your soldering iron and uh, tin it first so that it will come apart real easy. Because if you tin these, it's a lot easier to put the heat to them. You just put a little tin to them, each one, puts a little heat to them so they can come apart. Makes it a lot easier when it starts working with it. Just that way it comes apart real simple okay okay so our next step here is we got to remove a resistor this resistor causes current to go flow through the system and we don't want to do that with this particular one because it will interfere with the product but this resistor right here you got a capacitor which is L5 it's a 122 ohm resistor which is R6 and then there's a 222 ohm resistor, R7. Okay, and then there's another capacitor after it. So I'm hoping you can see that. Let's see, there's the capacitor, then the resistor. If you're anything like me, you're gonna have to put some glasses on to see this. Anyways, so we need to remove that resistor. So little bit of heat just dab it you don't want too much heat on this stuff because you put too much heat on any circuitry and it's not good for it not good the heat is bad for electronics that's why they have cooling fans on a lot of electronics because you don't want to overheat nothing these are all designed to operate at certain temperatures and anything over that they will burn up so I use a light iron light touch look at that already touching the capacitor next to it bloody dell all right let's see if we can't get this resistor off of here light touch come on right there it's a little bit stubborn that's okay yeah and our little cheap holder here is a little stubborn too yeah 
Yeah, I'm next to a road. Sorry about that. I think that the drag strip out here sometimes. There we go. It's starting to move. You don't want to force it. You force it and you start messing up the pads, messing up the pieces inside. There we go. There is the unit. I don't know if you can see that little bitty black dot on my finger. That shows you how small it is. Matter of fact, I even got some tape here to put it in so I don't lose it like I just did. There it is. So I'll put it right inside that little bitty spot right there so that we don't lose it. Just like that. It's not that big a deal. If you lose it, it's no biggie. You don't need it no more. I work on stuff, so it's nice to have. All right, so I want to make sure I got that clean in there. Make sure nothing's touching. Got clean pads. Just like that. Yeah, no, I touched the capacitor next to it there. I just want to clean it up. Okay. Just like that. Now this next step, a little bit tricky. If you can get a little bitty screwdriver or something, actually, you know what? Use a little bitty razor. Great little kits. Use a little razor blade to poke up into the corner of it in order to get up underneath this right here. You don't want to put a lot of heat here again either because you will lift the pads off the circuit board and you do want to be lifting the pads because you're going to be using those pads. You may not use all of them, but you're going to be using them. That one's being stuck. Just like that. A little heat to it. Give it a little twist. Should lift right up. Go into the next one, do the same thing. What I'm doing is going between the, the metal piece here and the green housing and kind of pulling outward like this. Not too hard, you'll bust your blades, but a little pressure on it. That way it'll pull it away and get it off the board without hurting nothing else. Because you're not going to use these either. These are done. Little heat. Like I said, again, little heat not much because you don't want it to stay Let's see how that one just peeled up too okay so i'll jump ahead okay so i know this is going to be very difficult to see because there's 48 pins on this chip number one right there where the arrow is the arrow is pointing that way so that starts off at number one and you want to go to pin 13 which would be the first one right here on the end on this end the first one as you come this way that's going to be your PTT wire okay and your COS wire is going to be the very last one right here number 48 so they're going to be straight across from each other number one right there where the arrow is points to number one and it's pointing that direction so it goes one and it goes all the way around like that 13 PTT 48 COS Okay All right, so let's get this going Okay, so I've got a radio pre-wired Bofan 88 8 Pre-wired so the resistors are already on the inside the white wire right here is going to be my 68k receive wire Okay, and the orange wire is going to be the 10K for my mic wire. All right, so I don't have to put them on this. If you want to use plugs, I don't have the right plug, so I'll, I'm just going to show you the dim, what they are. These DIN plugs, if you have the male, female, you can wire radio onto this side. And then wire this on the opposite side so you can bounce from radio to radio if you wanted to because you can wire up different radios and just plug it in I don't have any plugs left so I'm stuck like this so okay there's little pin holes little little holes here where the units used to be mounted there here here and here 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those holes to uh, run my wire through. They're a little tight. You can get a little drill bit if you wish, but don't make it much bigger. You'll see how close it gets to the chips. You don't want to be touching no chips. Don't want to be messing nothing up. I shouldn't even be showing you how to do that right there because that can... Somebody don't know what they're doing. They're going to make a mess and tear something up. I just happen to have the right size tool for what I do. Anyways, okay. So we're going to go with the green wire first, okay? I'm going to bring the green wire around. It should have been tin, but it's not. I'll tin it in a minute. Anyway, the green wire up through the hole. Nice and smooth. And you'll want to put a little 45 on it little bitty wire sticking out here because it's going to a little bitty spot on that chip so you got to find that little bitty spot that way you connect it you don't want it to touch over to the second pin which is 14 or 15 you want to just barely touch that pin 13 same thing with the blue the blue wire is going to come up through that hole it's just this is how it just holds it. Actually, we're going to use the back hole back here. That way we can get to it a little bit easier. Same thing. Only the pin 48. That's a tight fit on this side, so you got to be careful. When you solder, I recommend coming in from this angle. That way you don't take a chance and touch another wires over here or touching over here. Okay? Come in at the angle. Like this pin 13. We know we got to come off this way, so bring your iron in this way. That way you can touch it without touching other pins. So, like I said, you only want a tiny bit sticking out there. I mean, it's little bitty. You don't want too much because you get too much and you take a chance of touching something else. You don't want to touch anything else on that board. It's all it takes is one little second and it's fried believe me I just fried the other one that's why this one just came in the mail I was trying to hook it up to my repeater and I hit a 12 volt source instead of what I wanted and it fried it if you don't have one invest into a hot glue gun they are essential for what we are doing you got to be able to put a little glue on these things in order to keep them from moving around after you put them in, the, in their place if they start moving they will break okay like I said now we're going to pin 13 right here okay so usually what I'll do is I'll put a little kink in it you can see how small that is and I'll put it on this side and I'll kind of pull it toward it the reason for that is I know it's not going to touch pin 14 and it's small enough that it's not going to touch resistors or any other spot on the board remember I told you about coming in at a certain angle so just come in and give it a light touch you'll see it it'll it'll touch it you'll see the solder bleed across I know you can't see it in the video I'm so sorry for that but it made contact so it's touching there before I move on remember hot glue is my friend now I always cut little pieces off of when I take stuff apart so I save my little bit of glue I'm a cheapskate what can I say anyway Put a couple little pieces up there. Take your gun with a clean tip. That way you don't get solder stuck inside of it. And just put a little heat to it. Let it melt down. It'll stick to the gun, obviously. Let it melt down and just... You don't want to touch the board with your gun. Touching the board with the gun, you might desolder other points on the board that you don't want to desolder. So... Yeah, that'll probably be good enough for right now. Yeah, that'll be good enough. And then clean your iron again. Otherwise, it's going to be stinking like hot glue. You should use a damp sponge to do that, to clean this. Here again, I put the blue wire on the this side of pin 48, this side. And I'm pulling it toward it. I'm not touching no other spots so we should be able to come in at this angle remember what I was saying this angle so you don't touch the other uh, legs and just put a little heat to it 
about like so that should do it and here again hot glue we use hot glue because it's non-conductive for electricity and it holds everything in place really nice you don't have to have a big problem with it and it comes off if you need it to come back off yeah remember damp sponge works better anyway see you got this one's connected over here right on the end this one's connected right on the end with hot glue holding everything in place so those should be secured should be done on the bottom awesome these all pins on the back side the very end down here 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 and here are all grounds so we're gonna put our ground our black wire is our ground so we're gonna connect that to a ground pin right here we just take this one let's take this one right here you'll notice I'm using my finger right behind it so it's not getting that hot if it gets that hot then you're getting the board too hot I didn't make contact all right maybe I didn't have enough solder on this let's try it again right here all right there we go I brought a little holder in here to hold it like it's supposed to in the first place can't do it with my hand in the way of the camera let's see there we go and a little dab will do you this little dab come on there you go just a little dab I don't I don't like the way it looks there we go I like the way that looks okay okay orange wire is going to the output side white wire going to the input side so I put it on the opposite side to lay it across that way it's got a little binding and security to it so normally you would have your uh, resistors put here this orange would have a 10k on it but it's inside the radio a little heat done and this would have a 68k on it like I said again, it's inside the radio already, so I'm not putting it on here. But you'd have a 10 k or 86k in between these two right here, and a 10k in between those two right there. Okay, well, technically, that should do it. So what we're gonna do is find out. Okay, so I put a. A plug into the side of this so the mic won't key up you won't hear the mic you won't hear sound come through this we're going to hook up our Raspberry Pi 3 that's already been programmed with the card for uh, what we're doing for the node so let me just move all this wire over here out of the way we're looking for the lights light up we've got a green on the sound card we've got the power on the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 now it's blinking on the sound card which is exactly what we want that means it's making contact. Okay. I P address. There we go. W R E X three zero zero one nine two dot one six eight. All right. So that shows you it's making contact and it's getting set up. It's on its own. That little humming because I got it touching and holding everything and being so close to everything right here. So basically, that's it in a nutshell. Like I said, the, the white wire would have your 68 ohm resistor on it if you done it on this side. Your orange wire would have your uh, 10K ohm resistor on it. And obviously we've seen the back where we have the uh, COS and the PTT wire. COS and PTT. And that's it. That is how you convert a sound card. Simple.